We talk so much about self-love, but how can we get to know that we are practicing true sacred self-love? Or just being selfish? Welcome back to my self-love tutorial and my sharing about great tips for self-love. Together, we will shine every moment we live with truly sacred self-love. Inspired by Carol's illustration, I am now going to doodle this little girl with you, telling that she is a pearl. I am so in love with this painting effort side and really want to redo it in my own style. Oh, by the way, my real name in Vietnamese also means pearl. In this video, I am going to share with you three sacred sides to ensure that you are practicing true sacred self love these sides are my personal experiences up to more than 10 years of learning about ancient wisdom and six years of practicing mindfulness meditation under the teaching of Buddha. So, what is true self-love? That is actually love from God, Buddha, and the universe. That is the unconditional love that cannot be found in a limiting system of beliefs. I believe even we could translate self-love into so many different ways, the core and ultimate meaning of this could be explained as The love that helps us to be awakened to the truth that we are love and we are one. The love that helps to generate so much love for yourself and for the world. Here are the three most sacred signs that you are living true self love. 1. You are manifesting love and light towards yourself and to the world. Some people are fighting in life and at work to gain more benefits for themselves. This is not true self-love. You are doing this for your benefit. In true self-love, we are doing everything in love towards ourselves, but at the same time, it should be the thing that lies off even more, the light inside us, reminding us that we are nothing more but love. This is the final truth we need to be awakened to. If we are doing things to negate the truth that we are love, even if it is good to ourselves, that is still not true self-love. Two, you are living the truth of oneness. You are not separated from the others. We are into being. COVID is such a sacred sign from the universe to prove this. We are breathing the same air and are connected with each other in so many ways. What I understand from the inside of Buddha's teachings is that if we do think that we are irrelevant, isolated, we will continue to suffer. When you are happy, your child will grow up a happy person, your husband has a happy home to return, your readers become inspired to live happier, and your neighbors want to see your happy smile for the good morning. You are practicing self-love not only for yourself, but also for the planet, for your beloved, and at an energetic and quantum level for your past ancestors and your future generations. If you are practicing self-love with the mindset of oneness, you are practicing true self-love.
Three, living in deep gratitude for everything. Very often, you are feeling so much gratitude for all the things that are contributing to your living and your practicing. That means you are practicing true self-love. If we are grateful for our body, we will set up for the healthy nutrition. If we are grateful for the water, we will use water with more responsibilities. If we are grateful for nature, we do more other things to get more energy from Mother Earth. If we are grateful for the food we have on the table, we eat less and chew more. Those own things we are going to take action from a deep feeling of gratitude will benefit not only ourselves but also the whole planet. So if you are living with deep gratitude, you are practicing truly sacred self-love.
So, those are the top three secret signs of true self-love. I do think there are more, but I cannot share with you all in just one video. I am looking forward to hearing about your own signs in the comments. I know there are so many people out there who are practicing self-love in an indeed way that I do admire. I am so grateful you are still here with me until now. I hope you found some helpful insights for yourself to keep progress in your self-love practice. If you like this video, please leave a comment, like or subscribe to my channel so I could be anchored to keep working on the journey I choose. Thank you, I love you and I will come back very soon for more about self-love.